there is a monkey, everybody. A vervet monkey. Sitting in an obthorn tree. There are four or five of them that I can see. I didn't mean to make that rhyme. Oh, a little baby one. Just go back a little touch. There, you can see them all there. That's a really nice picture. It's very artistic, don't you think, Vio? Mm. Now, that is a knobthorn, and I mentioned this yesterday when we saw some monkeys. Unbelievable how they managed to sit in those thorny trees. Good, goodbye, Nicola. Nicola, Austin, everybody's going back to work at the moment. She says she's going to go and look for the three-legged elephant. On you go. Send our love to Scott. He's clearly not in the office today. Good for him. And in case you're wondering who we're talking to, everybody, they are ex-presenters and directors here who are now working up in Kenya. Now just look at the thorns in that tree and how the monkeys have somehow conspired to be able to sleep in a tree that you and I would not break a branch off with our bare hands. Yet there the soft bits of that monkey's rear end are very delicately placed upon the thorny branches of the knob thorn tree and I don't really understand how it's possible. He looks a little uncomfortable, don't you think, Pim? Mm -hmm. It's cold. He looks cold. You don't think it's because he's got thorns in his hands. They're not doing much, these monkeys. Normally they are knocking about the place. I think VM's right. I think they're just a bit chilly. Waking up slowly. Thinking of where on earth they're going to find breakfast. There we go. We have movement. Now watch it climb down through these unbelievably thorny branches. There's no way it's not touching the thorns. Somehow it just manages to cope with them. And they'll go foraging now. They'll head out for breakfast. They'll try and find themselves anything, basically. They're completely omnivorous. This time of the year, they really will eat anything. Uh, they'll eat fresh leaves, sort of fresh leaf shoots if they can find them. Insects absolutely will stand no chance if a monkey comes across them. Eggs, they'd love to eat. They'll eat small lizards if they can find them. So they'll forage a little bit like mongoose underneath rocks and underneath bits of dead bark and fruit, of course, if they can find it, but this time of the year, hmm? no fruit. A little baby there. Very sweet. They are very sweet at a distance, monkeys, in close proximity. <laughs> Not so much. They can be very deeply terrifying, and as I've said before, you know, all over the camps that there are around the Sabi sand, monkeys are a tremendous problem, and it's mainly because people are a tremendous problem, and I remember where, where I used to work, just down the road, we'd, um, we'd say to people, there are going to be monkeys around, please don't feed them, please don't feed the monkeys, because if you feed them, they're going to lose their fear of human beings, and then there's going to be trouble. This lion is now moving down the road here. 